everybody. How are you? My name is Chef Rob. Today we are going to make some sweet edible cookie spoons. You can use these to eat some parfait, uh, in some ice cream, and then also with yogurt. Put some berries on top. It'll be really, really good. So these are going to make a lot of them. We're going to show you. We're going to make the dough. This goes in stages. So you do need a little time for this recipe because after we make the dough, we have to put it to the refrigerator for about an hour, get it really solid and cold, okay? So the first thing you want to do, take two cups of the all-purpose flour and just kind of spoon it in here and just kind of level it off. Okay, you don't have to pack it in there, you just want it to be nice, nice and light and fluffy. And just spoon that off like that. So two full cups of flour then you want, for this will give it a little bit of a rise, a half a teaspoon of the baking powder. And then you want a quarter teaspoon of just the regular table salt. So we're just going to take a wire whisk and just mix this around. Have a big enough bowl so the ingredients, you don't lose any on the table. And we're just going to leave this to the side. Okay, so you don't have to preheat the oven now because you want to wait until it comes out of the refrigerator later and then you shape them into spoons. So we're going to use one stick, which is four ounces of unsalted butter. I got this to room temperature, so you want it to be like this. You don't want it melted and you don't want it cold. So take it out about an hour, hour and a half ahead of time or just put it in the microwave for about seven, eight seconds just to loosen it up just a little bit, okay? Don't melt it though, very important. So we're just gonna drop this into the bowl here and then we need one full cup of sugar. So you really do wanna use that full cup for these to come out really uh, correctly. So we're just gonna put this in here Make sure you have a hand mixer on hand, and then you're going to turn this on, and you're going to get you're going to get it nice and fluffy, and make it uh, until it's really pale. And then we'll add in one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is nice and light. It's pale in color. It took about two and a half to three minutes to get it like this. And now what you want to do is take one egg, just drop that right in here. We're going to make sure that all gets mixed in really well. And we're going to add in one teaspoon of the pure vanilla extract. And then just have a rubber spatula on hand so you can bring this all together. And then when this is all mixed in really good, we're going to add in our flour mixture with the baking powder and the salt. Okay, if you can see how this is, just like this, that is the way you want this. Now I'm going to get my dry ingredients and we're going to gradually add it in here. So just turn it on sl slow and then just add this in. And as soon as it's incorporated, just stop. Don't overwork the dough. So it is really important to put these in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Try to put it in the coldest spot that you do have in the refrigerator. And that way you can start making these even sooner. So you can leave it in the refrigerator up to two days. So if you want to take care of this step a day ahead of time or two days ahead of time, you could do that. Okay, so it should be like nice coarse crumbs like this. But when you turn off your mixer, you should be able to, if you have gloves or even just your hands, you could go in there and if you see the dough, it all kind of comes together just like a really good cookie dough. Just like that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this all together and then I'm going to flour my work surface. So anything you're using, whether it's a 
on a counter, it's on a cutting board, piece of plastic, anything like that. And we're going to make this into two round discs. And then we're going to let this refrigerate for one hour. At least one hour. So we're just going to lightly dust I'm using a cutting board here. I am going to take all of this cookie dough out. Make sure you get all those ingredients out and they are all mixed in here really well. Again, don't overwork the dough. Just make sure everything is combined really good. And it's just lightly floured on the outside. That would be all you need to do. So, I am going to cut this in half. I'm going to make two small discs. And by doing the two small discs, it will be a little easier to work with later. And it will also be quicker to start making your sweet edible cookie spoons. So you want it about a quarter inch high, maybe a little bit less. I'm just holding this up like that. It should be like that. Now I'm going to do the other one. And then you want to make sure it's really sealed really well with some plastic wrap because you don't want any air to get through to it and you don't want it to get dried out. And make sure they look identical, that they are really close in size and shape. Okay. So I am using some of this wrap right here. You can use saran wrap, that would be fine too. But this really seals it up. Really good. I'm just going to take this, wrap it just like that. And while this is in the refrigerator, what you're going to want to do is get your utensils out for the next uh, procedure. And that would be a cookie tray, some parchment paper, or a silicone baking mat. You're also going to want a rolling pin. That will help too. So I'm just going to cover this up really well. And let's pop these into the refrigerator. Okay everybody, our dough is nice and solid. I left one in the refrigerator while we prepare this one. We're going to take a little dusting of flour. Again, just put it on the cutting board just like that or whatever work surface you may be using. Now with a rolling pin, you want to make sure that it is right around the quarter inch to maybe a little bit less. Now I pressed it out pretty good before so it got nice and cold right away. Okay, And you should have a paring knife uh, ready to cut out some spoons. You can make these small, large, whatever size you want to make. Uh, they will come out really, really good. Okay, so this dough is really good. It's rolling really nicely. Um, okay, just like that. Now, I'm just going to take a paring knife and I'm just going to work it with all the different dough. I'm going to go like that for my spoon handle. You can make as many or as few as you want, different shapes. You can make as many as 36 of these and they would work out really well. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm gonna leave it to the side. Okay, you can even just like, kind of go just like this. See how I'm just kind of putting my thumb in there? And if you want a little different effect, you can put them in the freezer for a little while and just kind of give it that little bend to it. So you can make them all different ways. Okay. So this does take a little time. So, but it's a really fun uh, recipe to use. When you're serving it with ice cream or yogurt or, or parfait, you can put two or three of these in each parfait. Okay. Just because it's a spoon, uh, it's something, it's a sweet treat just to, kind of have so it's really good and then as you're going along what you're going to do is re-roll the dough okay until you get as many of these as possible 
So here are some of the spoons we have made. We're going to take this dough and we're going to bunch it all together again and just re-roll it and we're going to get more spoons out of this. Just make it kind of round Whoop. and just bring in the dough. Just kind of make sure it's even. That way it will roll out really nice and even. Take your rolling pin kind of lightly. If it's starting to stick to the rolling pin, just dust it very lightly with some flour. Okay, And we still have one more uh, dough disc in the refrigerator. So we're going to get a lot out of this. Again, make it as big or as small a spoon as you like. If you do make it a little thinner, reduce the cooking time. If you make it a little thicker, just add a little bit of cooking time to it. Okay. And just kind of letting it over the edge just like this here, kind of gives it a nice little handle. And we will re-roll this in a few minutes. But I'm just going to get some more cookie spoons out of this. Just have a good sharp knife and just be careful with it. Okay, so I'm going to re-roll this one right here that I can get a few more spoons out of this. I just went to the refrigerator and I took out my other uh, cookie dough disc and I'm going to roll that out and it's nice and cold. It will be helpful if you have room in your freezer and you could put these on this tray in the freezer for maybe 15 minutes just to get them nice and chilled because the dough is starting to get a little bit soft, it's a little bit warm. So anywhere from probably 24 to 36 of these cookie spoons. I'm going to start making a few little smaller ones. I don't think I want larger ones because they will be where they can break so I don't want that to happen. And as you're making these you can always just put your thumb here just so it's kind of like a little scoop in the spoon. Okay so we're wrapping this up here finishing up on our spoons. I'm going to show you a few that I did in the center of our pan. Okay, so what you can do, if you don't want to just lay them over the side, you can just take them just like this, lay it out flat, but then just give it like a little bit of an arch like that. Okay, again, if you stick this in the freezer for about 15 minutes, and then you're going to preheat your oven to 325. They will probably take close to 10 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. You want to put parchment paper or a silicone baking mat on the bottom of the dough. If you do a lot of baking, it's really good to have them. Okay, and again, I'm just pressing my thumb here and just giving it just a little bit of an arch. And these are going to be ready to go into the freezer right now, and then we're going to pop them in the oven for 10 minutes. So our sweet edible cookie spoons are done. They came out of the oven. They took about 14 minutes. So again, it really depends on your oven and it also depends on how thick you make them. So if you make them a little thinner, it could be about eight to 10 minutes, it could go up to 20 minutes. So just be ready for that, but keep an eye on them. So I have some Bavarian cream here for a parfait. I am just gonna take some of these cookie spoons. I want you to see what they look like. Okay, you can break them as you put them in there, but you can always spoon it on there. But serve them just like this, really fun. Just kind of put them all around the plate. And then just put some berries with it as well. Again, you can use ice cream with this. And just make this a really beautiful summer plate. It's a fun class, it's a fun thing to do with your family, your friends. So I hope you will make these. It's a nice sugar cookie recipe that you will enjoy. And just see with a, just a little bit of color how you can turn it into a beautiful plate. Everybody, thank you so much for watching and I hope you make these sweet edible 
cookies. Bye-bye.